George, you'll have to take it easy. You're on vacation. Boy, I'll tell you, Barbara, if I wasn't on vacation, I'd go after this bastard myself. Who the hell does he think he is? He's getting away with murder over there. The man is absolute scum, and he's trying to make deals with me, and I have nothing to say to it. Well, what about Hussein? I'm not talking about Hussein. I'm talking about Howard Stern. The following is an encore presentation of The Howard Stern Show. I gotta get out of this business. I gotta get out of this business. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me, America. I'm angry, I'm pissed. You see, Robin, you see these beautiful people here? This, these are wonderful families, Howard. What are you doing? I don't want any harm coming to these people, but I am holding these people hostage. Oh, these no. are Nielsen hostages. <laughs> Now, there have been a few problems in the ratings. Some of you like to start watching the show around 11.30, and around 11.45, you're tuning out. This is a big problem. I don't like it. I don't even want you... I don't want you getting up to pee. I don't want you getting up during the commercials. You if you want a pizza, who's the guy that delivers in a half hour? Domino's. Domino's. <laughs> let him run over... Let him run over your kids. I don't care. Now, listen, I like these kids. Come here, They're son. Come here. kids. Look at these Come here, kids. son. Come here. Come here. Come to your leader. Oh, don't You're be nice, afraid. You're a nice... This is a nice boy. I don't want anything happening to him. You wouldn't do him. No, absolutely not. He's a good boy. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If you don't watch tonight, I'm going to cut off his fingers and let you and let George Bush use them for bait. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's a good kid. And You're nothing will happen him. to him. Just make sure you watch. That's all. Okay? All right, you can go back with Mom. Thank you. Now, Robin, tonight's show is a big show. Well, what are your demands? I just demand that you watch. What do you mean to demand? It's very simple. Just keep watching. There's no problem. Hey, listen, I also have something else to tell you, Robin. Yes. Because of the whole Iraq situation, yes. I am totally aware of what's going on in Iraq. I've decided as a protest to grow my large toenail. Yes. My big toe. Uh -huh. I'm growing my toenail as protest until this situation in Iraq is over. Here, yes. let me show you. You're not going to cut that? I am not going to cut this. And I'm going to let it grow. How long has the hostage situation been going on? I started this about a week ago. My nails are very healthy. I started this like a week ago. And uh, I, I want everyone at home to do this too, okay? Make sure that you let your nail grow. By the way, tonight, during all our commercials and when we bring out our guests, we have a beautiful harp player for you. Yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. What are we doing tonight? We're doing some good stuff. Now, first of all... What's on the show tonight? I don't know. All right, with the harp music. I think I had enough. <laughs> By the way, she's one of Jerry's kids. We have to wheel her off, as you can say. Anyway. I feel like I was in a restaurant. Where's the food? Yeah, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> Tonight's show, I believe, will be our best show ever on television. Mm. Tonight is the big show. I'm very excited. We have Gilbert Dice Gottfried. Everybody knows... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows Gilbert Gottfried, but tonight he is coming out as a whole new Gilbert Gottfried. Okay. He has decided to completely recreate his image. So he, you know, Dice Clay, Andrew Dice Clay, is going to stop being Dice. That's right. So Gilbert is now taking up the mantle. I have no idea. <laughs> but Gilbert has put together something brand new for tonight. This is going to be the whole rebirth of Gilbert Gottfried. The biggest venue I think Gilbert ever played was Caroline. And uh, I think the, the Sadelman Bar Mitzvah. Yeah. And he sees Dice as playing the, uh, what Madison they call Madison Square, Square Garden. Garden. All of this, so... Tonight, Gilbert Dice Godfrey. Also, we will explore the world of gay comedy with Jaffe. Gay Jaffe will be here. All right. Personally, I like gay comedy. I'm sure I'll I don't love know it. what gay comedy is, but we're going to find out tonight. I have no idea what it is, and I'm sure it's going to be wacky. Also, the Ramones are here, our good friends, the Ramones. Guys who did Pet Cemetery. Uh, guys who did Pet Cer Cemetery and refused to do it for us live tonight. <laughs> One of the Ramones is holding out there. Um, All of our uh, guests are revolting. Yeah, oh, <laughs> this is bit, <laughs> they really are revolting. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Um, you must understand that when you do a show like this, 
you book the Ramones and you say, well, you guys are a singing group, would you sing? Yeah. No, they won't sing. What are they going to do? Uh, I don't know. The councils are here for reunion. I want, you know, again, they're going to sing Hair. They've been singing Hair for 20 years. I said, why don't we do a song parody? They don't want to do a song parody. Yeah. So it's going to be a weird show. There's going to be a lot of yelling and screaming, I think, you know? Hey, councils, learn how to spell Beatles. B-E-A-T-L-E-S. That's not who you are. Do whatever I say. <laughs> do whatever I say. Saturday night, let's have some fun. <laughs> we got some wacky bits, David Dinkins' School of uh, Speech. Ooh, I'd like and to uh, Melanie Griffith with Stutter and John, yep. who looks real good. Wait till you see uh, she a top like your. Wow, Rob, oh. look at that top. I can see your breath. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm dressed. I'm fully dressed. Also, tonight, we, we do listen to your letters. We know exactly what you're talking about. Gary... Those reaction shots, the reaction shots on Gary have been horrible this uh, past couple of shows. Tonight we have a beekeeper's hat for Gary, which he'll be wearing. <laughs> Nobody needs to complain about Gary. So put down your pins and pins. <laughs> I don't know, you can still see those teeth sometimes. I don't know. You know, I, I don't understand. Couldn't we have, of course, taken Gary and uh, maybe gotten him off the show instead of humiliating him with a beekeeper's hat? No. I like it. Anyway, what are we going to do? Take a break? All right, we got to take a break. We'll be back. Don't go away. Gilbert Dice Gottfried is next. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> it's wardrobe, Howard. These aren't real. You know how we got that makeup guy back there? <laughs> They're looking this good. This is my protest. I'm not going to put out a top until the hostages something. come home. Robin is holding her breast hostage in that, <laughs> that tight little outfit. By the way, is the hostage situation over yet? Because no. my nail has grown some more. <laughs> you notice. Everyone at home, grow your nails. That wow. nail's about three different colors. Yes, it is. You're, you say you're growing it. You're not, not washing it. I kind of feel like Bart Giamatti, you know? Maybe, uh, maybe I got some kind of heart problem. I don't know. Maybe we ought to put you on one of those treadmills and do a stress test. Listen, Robin, I am really excited. <laughs> yes. Gilbert Dice Gottfried. <laughs> All right. This should be wild. Here he is. Gilbert Dice Gottfried, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first appearance anywhere. The first time anywhere. <laughs> Formerly with the Cowsills, Gilbert Dice Gottfried. Here he comes, okay. man. He oh, looks so. like he smokes. Hey, Robin, you better... <laughs> hey, that smoking stick is really working. He really looks like a smoker. Yeah. Oh, man. And you know what's great about Gilbert Dice Gottfried? What? All his tics and mannerisms. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. What's that head shaking thing <laughs> Dice does? Is he old enough to smoke? <laughs> I mean, look at him. Look at how great he is. I think we're experiencing his first cigarette. <laughs> I think he's going to vomit. But you know, the, the whole... The whole Gilbert Dice persona is so wild with the cigarette. It's just funny to see him smoke. It's amazing how he yeah. can tag in the crowd, though, with this stick. You know, Robin, a lot of people said, well, Gilbert... <laughs> a lot of people said, will Gilbert Dice Godfrey, will people want to see him? Isn't it amazing how it's all cigarettes? This new act. Nice to see him without the yarmulke, too. I'll tell you that. But, uh, you know, a lot of people said, will Gilbert Dice Godfrey be able to pack in the stadium yes, like yes. the other Dice? Will the people respond to him in the same way? But I think his cigarette stick is as funny as the real <laughs> Dice. I really do. Just watching him is funny. I'm telling you. I don't Hickory. think he has to say anything. Hickory Dickory. Hickory Dice. Hey, how's it going, he sweetheart? Oh! <laughs> you, know, oh. You, know, you know, you were so irreverent. You were really just so... Hey, out of, hey you Robin, really? are you wearing any panties? <laughs> oh! <laughs> now, now, hickory dickory dock, you look wait like... Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. Maybe I should leave because, yeah. because Dice is here. Yeah, well, you know Maybe what? Maybe I should protest. Well, it's just that your breasts will probably be the, the brunt of... Hey, what are those, your breasts? <laughs> oh! Ooh! Hey, you got nipples on those! Hey, now, oh, let me ask you something. You're so insightful. Are, you, are your parents in this jacket with you? <laughs> All right. Uh, Just whose jacket is that? Who's the jacket? real oh. thing? Oh. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, this... Wait a second. I'm not through. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, not worried yeah. about, you're not worried about cancer, are you, Gilbert? No, Dice? what? Cancer? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Smoking is a sport that you enjoy, and uh, you're, not a, you're not afraid of smoking, are you? 
<laughs> Let me ask you something about yes. it. Do you, have, do you talk about women like uh, the other dice? Do you, do you, uh, just... you like women, don't you, Well, dice? you a bunch of trash. Oh! No, no, no. no what Wait, is... get under the desk, Robbie. Oh! Is there anything you're upset about? Are you upset about uh, what's going on in New York? Are you upset about uh, any, you know, do you get political with your humor? Or... Well, you know, I just want to say something. When this movie opens up in 10 years, that I was working on it. Oh, oh you're getting upset. Oh, I'm sorry. You're so upset. Sorry, I lost control for a minute. Oh! Now, now, let me ask you something. Tonight, we are going to be yeah. doing... Dice has epilepsy. Like <laughs> with Tourette. Dice with Tourette. Like a, it's, like a, it's like an epileptic fit. <laughs> no, come on. Seriously, Dice. Oh! You, um, you have been under attack. Yes. Because a lot of people, you know, you say what you do is an act. Well, how do you feel about that Saturday Night Live woman? <laughs> oh, they she some kind of slut? Oh! You don't like her, right? Hey, who is this bull and yon here? Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, that's not oh, right. Geez. You use words like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, you really love all people. You love the Oriental. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what are you hey, touching his microphone? What are you getting under the table for? What are you, a uh, homo? <laughs> You feel... some kind of homo. Now, me... He's kneeling <laughs> down in front of me. Oh! See, that's why that's why you're controversial. Oh, just a second. Oh! Hey, that's why you're controversial. A guy who's doing his job moves your microphone for just two seconds, and right that's away. Controversial. As soon as you get on, as soon as the guy gets on his knees, right away you're in with homo jokes. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. guy said, you know why? Because the guy is a homo. But you don't. You... Oh! But you don't respect it. Yes, I I respect anyone who does anything they want with their penis. Oh! <laughs> Let me ask you about uh, a couple of things that are going on in New York. Like, hey, you ever make it with a white man? Oh! <laughs> they are so controversial. It's controversial. Well, Robin is but no. You like I'm starting all people. a new one. All right, start a new <laughs> cigarette. You know, I really do smoke. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you, Gilbert Dice. Yeah. You, uh, what about some of this, the racial tensions? You do a lot of racial humor. What yeah, about you this? don't do black humor, Wait, do you? Wait, he's lighting a cigarette. Oh, excuse me. What about this Tawana Brawley <laughs> thing and all this stuff that... <laughs> Get it started, yes. <laughs> what about, uh... <laughs> I think you smoke an itching powder. Yeah, totally. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, no, come on. Now, now Gilbert dies. Yes. You, uh, you, you, uh... Let me ask you. What is it, you boy? Oh! Now, wait a second. That's hey, not right. Hey, it was anti-Semitic! Oh! Let me ask you something about this. Yes. You're against the Jews. You're against yes. blacks. What about, like, the Tawana Brawley thing? Were you against that? Were you, uh, were you shocked by what happened when uh, Reverend Al Sharpton... Hey, does Tawana Brawley have breasts like Robin <laughs> All right, let me ask you this, then. It was very sexy. One of the things we're doing on the show tonight, coming up next, is a gay comedian. What, is he a homo? Yeah, he's a yes, homo. He's a homo, guy. He's a homo, and what's... What, gonna... has he got something in his shorts? Yeah. Oh. We're going to have a gay comedian out here, and we're going to ask you to comment on the gay comedian, okay? Yeah, you can analyze his comment. No, I got a comment now. The guy's a big homo. All right, but first we got to do a commercial, all right? The guy's where's his diamond Sierra. All right. <laughs> We have uh, now... <laughs> uh, Gilbert Dice, do you want to light that cigarette? <laughs> he, he, no, he's doing it. He goes through a thing, Oh, Robin. I you don't see. Understand. Before it's he a, lights. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Mayor Dinkins, School of Speech. Yes. This is a new oh, client... Oh, the colored guy! Oh! <laughs> Very controversial. This is a new client of ours. Watch this, okay? Hello, my name is Chad DeGeneres. <laughs> I'm here to praise the David Dinkins School of Speech, <laughs> where you can learn to talk good like these satisfied customers. Oh, you can sound like I had a mouthful of Buffalo balls, but I have improved. You can learn to speak as eloquent as O.J. Simpson, Frank Gumbo, and Sinbad. Learn in a real classroom. Say, first day. Birthday. No, 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 no. Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Say you. You. Woman. Who? Oh. <laughs> Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> In just a few short weeks, you'll be speaking real good, just like David Dinkin. Hello, I'm David Dinkin. Bonjour. 
I would like to play you my before and after tape, before my corrected speech. I am playing no tagums or stipends. <laughs> Today, the founder of the revolutionary David Dinkin Speech School sounds like this. My dear, dear auditor, it is with great regret that I misplaced my tax returns. However, my recompense is on your deck. I mean, desk. I swear on my wife's big buttock. <laughs> Call 1 800 555 EIEIO. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, my yes. goodness. Well, what do you know? All right, it's time to meet Gay Jaffe. You ready? Yeah, what? He coming out of the men's room? Yeah! yeah. Move over a seat here, uh, Dice. Gilbert Dice. Gonna get my seat as far away from him as possible. Come on out, Gay Jaffe. There he is, Gay Jaffe Cohen. Oh. The gay comedian. The gay comedian. I want to meet you, oh, introduce you to Gilbert Dice. Why don't we remove the seat? You can just sit on the pole in the chair. Oh! oh. Talk, talk to me about gay comedy. Now, where do you perform gay comedy? I've been, I've been, I've been in town. the men's room. Oh! oh uh, when did you first realize you were gay? <laughs> <laughs> now, seriously, what, what age were you when you were gay? I was gay when I was in, I was in fourth grade when I was when I found out. You knew right away. I know, oh, I knew right away. We all knew. You know, but you were like, you know, you were. Gilbert, you're gay. Yeah, right. I just thought of you. I just no, no, you sit. You look at the guy in front of you. You just know. You just know. No, you're you just know. Yeah. Now, are you yeah. offended by Gilbert Dice? I just don't know what to say to him. I'm just afraid he's going he's to burn me up with that thing. He looks like a microwave here. <laughs> do, do me a favor. <laughs> Not all of America. This yeah. is the first show to expose gay comedy. Could he hey, that's gay the joke? only thing I want them to expose. No, oh. don't be. Try to be open-minded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now. Yeah. Ah, you got your legs open. Oh. All right. Now, for example, what happens, Gay Jaffe? When you go in the club, you get up there, you say what? Well, I say, I say, hello, I'm Jaffe Cohen, I'm half Jewish, I'm half gay, and uh, sometimes there's a crowd from... Why are you a gay Jew? Oh! Now, Gilbert, you've got, I mean, Gilbert Dice, you've got to, you've got to allow a comedian to develop yes, his material. Yes, you know, you had your shot, oh, yeah. now give gay Jaffe yeah, a shot. Let's just say something, that uh, on this show, we like gays. Yeah, yeah. And uh, We're this pro show, gay. we are pro-gay, because yeah. that's why we bring gay comedy. Personally, right, right. I don't believe in uh, discriminating against gays. I don't believe in beating up gays. That's Personally, I'd beat you up for that hat, <laughs> but uh, never for the... Uh, Your for fashions, like, what, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But not for being a queen, he no. won't beat you up. Oh! Guys, I hope you're wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now... Uh, I, I, I'm going to hide him. I'm take this off. Oh, go ahead. Okay. All right, now... Uh, this, Could he tell us a gay is, joke? Is the white okay? Is the white oh, okay? that's fine. Do, do me a favor. Tell me a gay joke. You're sweating I like don't know, so Robin, is the white okay? Oh! He's, uh, he's sweating like Dinkins here. Calm yeah, yeah. down, Jaffe, for God's sake. What, do you got a big Dinkins? Oh! <laughs> All right, now... Yeah. Now, come on, seriously, what's a good joke? A gay joke? You know, you, well, okay. I say, like, uh, you got to be careful on the streets nowadays. I was walking down the street, and someone goes, Hey, Matty Cohen, I turned around like this. Uh, I thought he said Mary Cohen, so that's a... Uh, in other words, Matty Cohen means bad in Oh, so it's like a gay Jew joke. No! <laughs> no, no, seriously, yeah. Jeffy. So you go to clubs. Yeah. Now, do a lot of straight people... This isn't working very well, is it? Oh, it's working no, great. Come on, just it, calm yeah. down. I think that gay yeah. Gilbert Dyson, yeah. whatever his name yeah. is, is getting you nervous. Is Gilbert yeah. making you nervous? He's making me nervous. Yeah. Why? Because it's, uh, uh, I don't know. Why, I'm turning you on too much? Yeah. Oh. All of his tears. What, you want to go up and do your nails? Oh. Gilbert, now please, I must you know, quiet you down. Yeah. I got to talk to Gay Jeff. Because, yeah. you know, it's, it's tough enough, you know. It's like you don't want to, you don't want to fall into stereotypes. I'm mean, enough of a stereotype as it is. I don't want to, you know, it's, it's, it's the stereotypes, I don't want to fall into it too much. And, uh, and all the stuff here is kind of stereotypes. And, um, right, okay. Yeah, you yeah, know. Okay, so Gilbert, yeah. why don't you calm down? Yeah, I want that Gilbert type yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm exactly. calm. Yeah, right. Yeah. I want to tell you something. That I, I have not but your much respect for the gay. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. Hey, Jackie, seriously. Yeah. What, uh... Yeah. You got a regular life mate, right? We've been through this. Oh, yeah, you I do. do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Is that a new yeah. uh, development? It's new, yeah. I didn't, yeah. Have, I didn't have the last time I was right. here. Yeah. Because the last We've time been I saw about 60 days now. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's our leather anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> 60 days, yeah. and this guy, this guy yeah. lives with you exclusively? He lives with me exclusively, yeah. And you two are exclusively yeah, with yeah, each other? Yeah. We're at that stage where we're starting to learn things about each other. And they, I don't know if I could say it something the other day. You know, he, he farted. 
you know, and uh, that was the first time. That was the first time. What is that like but, but, a mating call? Oh! Yeah. Now Gilbert but, dies. But, but, but then he says to me, he says to me, I can fall in front of you because I love you so much. Right, he right. Says, I said, I think we've been seeing too much of each other. <laughs> I see. Now it's, ah, it's almost yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me about transsexuals. What do I know about trans? Do they laugh at half the gay jokes? Because, uh, <laughs> not really, you know, they, they understand everything. Yeah. You know that Debbie's been writing yeah. for Out Week. Every once in a while I see an article yeah. in Out yeah, Week. I see an article oh, right yeah. now. Do you approve, do you approve yeah. of, uh, you see an article now. Yeah. Do you approve of outing? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. will tell, you will say someone is gay, uh, you will come if out and... you know and, it? Well, yeah. Have yeah. you outed anybody? No, I have, well, uh, he had Richard Simmons here on the show the other week, right? Yeah. No, I was on the Joan London show, and they asked me not to do the gay material when he was there. Really? Yeah, Why is that? Because they were afraid I would blow his cover. What do you mean? So you're claiming that he is gay? Because he I told really me he know. wants to date Linda I dated Evans. Richard Simmons. Oh, really? I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Hope, gay or straight? <laughs> That's the big question Hollywood's been asking. Bob Hope, gay or straight? Who cares? He's 90 years old. I see. Nobody I wants him. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I I see. Are you going to keep any of this? I hope not. Why? Why? Why do you? Why do you I'm what's the matter? I look terrible. Oh, well, yeah. Pat him down. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting Gilbert to be here. <laughs> you weren't expecting Gilbert. Gilbert. Look at the effect you have. I on think you Gilbert, know. you know, with his metal jacket, and tip, intimidates no, he's everyone. A big hero of mine, really. Oh, Gilbert's a big hero. Yeah, oh, really? Well, Gay Jaffe says he will uh, do some. Uh, hey, is that a hop between your legs? Oh! <laughs> A lot of people told me I looked good last week. Something with the, uh, I was wearing that coat, the... Uh, the jacket thing, yeah, with the broad shoulders and the long hair. We, yeah, we got some letters from women who actually found me attractive. And, uh, <laughs> hey, don't I'm get not, carried away. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's why you're wearing that top this week, Oh, well, yeah, maybe I'm trying to entice you. Yeah, maybe I think it. so. Maybe I'm trying to get your attention. Our next guests, of course, are the Ramones. We've got some really interesting... I could have been doing this for Joey Ramone, though. Yeah, we do look and identical. And you do look like him. This is, this is my worst nightmare, that I look like Joey Ramone. That's why I'm going in for surgery. But, uh, no, I love Joey and I love the Ramones. I think uh, their song, Pet Cemetery, was the best song of 1989. Uh -huh. I really do. I swear to God, no jive. As a matter of fact, before I bring out the Ramones, I want you to see what the Ramones have been up to recently. Take a look at this. This is amazing what's going on between them and the President of the United States. Mm. Good shot. Who goes next? Joey, is it your turn or is it Marky and Dee Dee's turn? Dee Dee left the band, Mr. President. I knew that. Tough business, the music business. What's he doing now? Uh, he's doing rap. Nice shot. Rap music, huh? White guy doing rap music. That's tough. Oh, a little piece of advice for you boys. Don't lick your balls. You can get tongue cancer. Thanks, Mr. President. Good. Good. Mr. President, Mr. President, why are you hanging around the Ramones? We're on the verge of war. I'm a fan of the Blitzkrieg bop. Look, I don't like this. We're not doing the right thing. I don't like all these heavy questions on my vacation. Joey, you ought to get out in the sun more often. Why are we here, Mr. President? Good question, Joey, Marky, Dee Dee, Cubby. Hey, there's no Cubby in the Ramones. Well, I knew that. Listen, boys, the reason you're here is, do you know about Saddam? Yes, yeah, Saddam. That's a planet near your anus. No, it's not, Dee Dee, Marky, Pokey, Franny, Zooey, Bowser. Saddam is an evil man in Iraq who we need to defeat. I want to get you boys in the picture. What can we do? I want to commission you boys to write a song to get our soldiers wired. You can think of yourselves as the Francis Scott Key of the young generation. What do you say, Rico, Nitty, Youngblood, Sole, Moonfry? Why us, Mr. President? The Sex Pistols broke out. I don't want to be buried in an Iraqi cemetery. No, no. Too maudlin, Lenny, Squiggy, Joey, Marky. Well, you know, that sucks. Yeah, hey, no bickering. That kind of bickering is what broke up a monkey. 20, 20, 24 hours to go. I want to crush Hussein's head. Hold it, hold it, boys. Hold it. How about this? Gabba, gabba, hey. Gabba, gabba, hi. 
let's bomb Saddam, he must die. See? You gotta talk tough. <laughs> Mr. President, you're so great. You're incredible. Enough, boys. Let's get back to something really important. Dee Dee, it's your turn. Dee Dee left the bed. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love him. <laughs> Which one was Joey? The Ramones. The incredible Ramones. Yes, the Ramones. Here they are in the flesh. Which is the golf club and which is Joey? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, I love the Ramones. Yeah, hey, take hey, a seat, guys. Your twin How is you here. Doing? Yeah. We get to see this on TV. I can't believe it. Hey, Joey and I do look alike. Hey, Joey, let me ask you something. Thanks, Joey. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Thanks. Joey, let me ask you something. Are you happy with the way you look? Because I don't... I'm, I'm not, happy. I'm happy. You've you never happy. thought of changing it. No, no, I, I'm, I'm happy with, with myself. You're happy with inside of yourself. That's How did you important. come to I'm that happy peace inside of mind? Inside. I, got, I got peace of mind, yeah. By the way, boys, what is your handicap in golf? Uh, that is very I think it's a three. It's a three. Yeah. Well, you know, seriously, because people say to me, why am I dissatisfied with my appearance? Yeah. And because Joey and I could really be twins. Seriously, we could be brothers in the sense of the way we look. Yeah. Could do a juicy fruit gum commercial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Double yeah. men, double, double men. Whatever we could do. Whatever. But the point is that, uh, by the way, both Joey and I have shares hairstyle. He has before Sonny. And I'm after Sonny. <laughs> I have the more of the curl look. Got that uh, afro sheen in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of a gel to it. You, right. know what I mean. <laughs> you, got, you got the mousse, right? Yeah, right. You right, know, right. but real serious. What, you straighten your hair or something? You... No, no, I just let it grow long. Yeah, you look good. I mean, you do look good. This is the healthiest thing. It I've looks ever seen. very healthy. I'm sober seven months. Yeah. Where is my keychain? Where's my keychain? Yeah. Yeah. You get a, you get a tip. You, get, Joey, no, you, you obviously, you know, you, you never made a secret about it. You had some problems with drugs and stuff. Uh, drinking, is that what it was? I didn't have a problem. I just enjoyed it. You enjoyed it too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you didn't go away to one of those No, no. I, uh, clinics. I, I have a lot of willpower. I, I, I have willpower. Yeah, 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 Mark, see, to, Mark yeah I went away to three detoxes, and I've been straight for uh, six years. So. It took three times, though. Yeah, it took me three <laughs> shots at it. But I, but I like to party. Aww. Yeah, I know. Well, the Ramones yeah. like mean, to party. I mean, you know, I know, yeah. you, you know, you're blown it out of proportion. I never had a problem. Well, wait a second. Let's Joey. talk about this. <laughs> now, when you say you're sober seven months, is that in a row? Yeah. For seven months in a row? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Not that's, total. That's, for his entire life. Yeah, I didn't say, you know. <laughs> no, no, I, was, I, I would go on and off. When, I, when, I, when I'd be on tour, I'd, um... I'd be straight, you know, right. because I want to be my best, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, what happened was, um, in January, I hurt my leg, and so that sort of I, that, 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 that's what made him realize that. Made me know, realize yeah. that I'm happier uh, sober. Yeah, yeah right. And, and oh, now, was it Joey or Marky who used to date Joan Kennedy? But uh, <laughs> well, what about that, though? You know how, like, Richie Sambora, Bon Jovi date Cher? You guys get any famous girls because uh, you're the Ramones? You got Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts, really? No, she came to see us. That was yeah. the best part. I almost had. I almost had. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. You yeah. could have gotten Julia Roberts? Keith yeah, yeah, well, you her and Keith Sutherland came. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, wait. Wait a second. Listen, it's a story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, By the way, we should Julia Roberts and Keith came down to a show, and he was all drunk, and she came over and started rapping with me. So I told her, look, why don't you come back after the show, and, you know, we'll go for a drink and stuff. She said, yeah, right. But during the show, she got leveled in the pit, and... Uh, she, she got, got carried out. She had to carry people <laughs> home. Really? Yeah. So you think you could have gotten her? Yeah, I think I could have gotten her. Now, what is it? Is this a new video that just came yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, home video. This is called Lifestyles of the Ramones. Brand new video that you can pick up. The Ramones are great. The yeah. way they hang out with George Bush and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, all our videos that were never shown on Yeah, TV. uncensored, unreleased, <laughs> and, uh, it's, and it's a, a documentary, too. Listen, I want to thank the Ramones. Huh? Yeah. Are they great or what? All right, we'll be... Good seeing you guys. Really good seeing the guys. Make sure you buy their videotape, too, all right? We'll be back right after these words. Thank you. Hey, thank you, guys. That was fun. The bit was a scream, man. That was great. Yeah, we were great. Good seeing you. Robin, what's in the news this week? Well, for the first time, Howard, on this show, making an appearance, the Butcher of Baghdad. We have him here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is the tape of uh, Saddam Hussein with Saddam. the hostages. There he is. Look at those poor people. So, as of now, you can 
and such a wood is a wood comb. Five your letters and messages to the your family. Uh, Learn and speak English. Learn to speak English. <laughs> English. <laughs> English. Yeah, clear your throat. Next. 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 Not you, Gay Jeffy. Saddam. <laughs> and look at the group shot. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Let me tell you something. This makes me so angry. I can't believe it, how upset I am by this. And as a sign of protest, I ask every one of you out there to join me in growing your toenail. <laughs> he has not cut that toenail. <laughs> Super long. <laughs> and he will not cut that toenail. That's a Lee press on. I, I, I'm going to pick your nose. <laughs> a Lee press on. He will not cut that toenail until the hot no, really is when you see that jerk, you know, and uh, yeah, he's just a jerk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Isn't he a jerk? Hey, he's a jerk. He, he and like... he's a homo. <laughs> well, you can't say that. He <laughs> 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 looks like Jerry Colonna. That's what I thought. Is that why you object? Are you attracted to him at all? No, no, no. no, no, no what is your no. type of man? My type of man is uh, breathing. Is he breathing. walking and breathing? <laughs> oh. No, seriously. What type of man? I, I, like, uh, I, like, I like black men. Yeah. Yeah, and my mother's probably watching this now. And uh... more than you can say for Robin. Oh! I think your mother passed out when you said you like men. I don't think your mind is black. Yeah, black men. Yeah. You're right. I don't think the black man thing is an issue, quite frankly. Well, you wonder what the president yeah. is doing doing right. during uh, this crisis. You referred to it a little while earlier when you had him playing golf with the Ramones. There he is, getting in another game. There he is, boating. Boating. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's waving. Hello. Boating good. And there he is, fishing. Anybody watching? Fishing good. Look at this guy. And now that the crisis is heating up, he's getting really crazy, Howard. What is he Look doing at this. now? This is going to do a triple gainer into his pool. Is that Look right? There he goes. Triple gainer. The president really, really having a good time. Wow! And he's good at it! Very nice. Here's his parallel bar routine. <laughs> gymnastics. Oh, yes. And finally, he's going to finish it all up with, can you believe this? Bungee cord jumping. The president does bungee cord jumping, yeah, huh? Can you, look at this. He's going to jump off a bridge. Yeah! <laughs> he's losing it up there in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> No kidding. I, I love it. Did we really trust this man to get us out of this mess, Howard? By the way, the president has informed us, no bullfighting, there's a war on. <laughs> you know, but I got to say something serious here. This is what he calls prudent recreation. Yeah, I mean, it's just outrageous that here we are going to war. It just doesn't look good. I remember the days of Kennedy. He stayed in the White House during the... Yeah. Chaffee, are you still alive? <laughs> yes, sir. I you remember, remember Kennedy. I remember in Kennedy. I mean, this guy would be in there with all his advisors, Pierre Absolutely. and all those other he dudes. He was doing Marilyn Monroe. Of course he was in there. Yeah, right. Oh. You're saying that during the Cuban Missile Crisis, he was doing Marilyn Monroe. He would say, it ain't Marilyn. Come on, do it. Oh! Yeah, I see. All right. What else is in the news, huh? Marion Barry. The big question in the country, Howard, is who would still vote for Marion Barry after his drug trial? So we sent our D.C. correspondent, Tom Groom, yes. to find out. Let's find out, because these you people should be... Oh, I look, roll it. Okay. Yes. I think that these people should be locked up. Let's see who's on the tape. Okay. After all the revelations in the Mayor Barry trial, would you still vote for him now that he's deciding to run for city council? Yes, I would. Any particular reason, sir? Well, one reason is because I believe in forgiving and forgetting. Would you still vote for him? This is a man who did crack. <laughs> hey, what kind of crack was he doing? Oh! They found that me and get over with. <laughs> yes, yes, without a shadow of a doubt. He's ha he hasn't done any more than the other political figures. It's just that he got caught. Mayor Barry has done no more than a Ted Kennedy or Oliver North or uh, Gary Hart. Yeah, I would. Why is that? Yeah, I just because. Because what? He did a lot for us. He did a lot for the color, and he did a lot to I'm a senior citizen myself. Listen, I don't know that I don't know that man who We're just said that. That's a woman. <laughs> That was a woman. I figure out what she was saying. I don't know what she said. 
Was that Get whoop some marbles out of your mouth, honey. Who is that, Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> I, uh, listen, I don't know what's in people's minds. The man did crack. He's not a good role model. Well, we did find one person who said he was not going to vote for Marion Barry. Finally, a, a man who makes sense. All Let's right. see him. What I'd like to know is after all the revelations in the Mayor Barry trial, would you still vote for him now that he's deciding to run for re-election to the city council? No. Why not? Huh? Why not? Well, no, what well, well, you said before, but, uh, uh, but a drug thing. I don't know why, I don't know why you want to put it back in that game, is it? <laughs> Based on what we've heard in the trial so far, do you think the mayor paid too much for his crack? Paid too much? Well, not, but I'm, I said that just there. Uh, that people said, uh, he's done it, you know, uh, they gave the drugs. Well, I don't think people lie on it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, I told you, there are some rational, sane people left in this world. Uh, Am I crazy or something? Or what? You're saying just because the guy's a crack addict and he hangs out with prostitutes, that makes him a bad person? You know, you're so understanding, Gilbert Dice. It's unbelievable. Trappy, I guess the kind boy, of you would never go up to a hotel yeah. room with a woman. Oh! All right, now. You should be running for office. Were we playing that last tape backwards? Is that what I... <laughs> He's not going to vote for him. Right. Hey, you got to get him. Right? All right. That's good. Thank you. Yes. That's what's happening. That's what's happening tonight. I want to thank Gilbert Dice Gottfried for stopping right, by. Good to have you. And of course, Jaffe Cohn, the great gay comedian. Where thank can you, we see Jaffe? Where can we see you? I'll be back in New York at the Duplex on Friday night at 10 o'clock. With funny gay? With the funny gay males with Bob right. and Danny. I see. All right. Yeah. All right. They're okay. all a little funny. You know? Oh, all right. And don't forget to send us tapes and letters. That's right. Because you have nothing better to do than to write us. <laughs> Everybody knows, uh, you laugh like a mental patient, John. <laughs> Everybody knows stuttering John. He's our reporter. He goes out to ask the celebrities all the questions I'm afraid to ask, to be honest with you. John uh, went and got Melanie Griffith this week. Yes, I did. Yeah. This was at, wh where was this? This was at uh, a celebrity boat race uh, downtown. Celebrity boat race downtown. Her husband, Don Johnson, of course, was He uh, races boats. According to the Inquirer, Mel Melanie got uh, breast implants. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is the only way we can get the really big stars on this show, so we're going to have to keep doing this. I know. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you, she bent over, man, and she had some, 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 some awesome cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. She also, uh, I guess from the baby, has a little pot belly because she's wearing those tight, like, uh, jogging shorts, you bicycle. Bicycle pants? Yeah. Bicycle pants, there's like a pot belly thing yeah. happening oh, there. But... Well, let's look. All right, take all a look. these things. Yeah, watch everything. It goes fast, all right? Okay, all right, this is for how it starts on the show. Off the live broadcast. You miss? You think Don... What? 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 You think uh, Don misses Philip and Michael Thomas? Um... <laughs> I think I'd rather us rather wait to the end of the race when we're all back. We're not walking. We came over here from Long Island. Please. We came over here from California. But right after the race... you ask me about the boat race, I'll talk to you about the boat race. All right, what do you think's going to win? Don! Oh, right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're over there. Did you, did you give Connie Chung any advice on having a baby? How to have one? Uh, I don't know how to have one. I love working girls. Great movie. Thanks. Great How's your father Andy? <laughs> what? How's your father Andy? My father Andy. I really think we should do this after the race. There's a lot of confusion. You guys walking into a wall back here. Let's talk after the race. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank It's kind of weird, too, because... I mean, this Melanie Griffith could stop for five seconds. Here's a guy who's come down with a whole camera crew, spending thousands of dollars on a camera crew. This, this, this woman can't stop. For where is she going? Where is she in such a rush? I mean, where? I'll tell you where she's going. She's going to this big boat to go out and see Don off. And finally, of course, we come to Richie Sambora of Bon Jovi. Oh, yeah. Richie is also Cher's boyfriend. Yes. Now, Bon Jovi has uh, left the group, I understand. Now, Sambora is on his own. I think he's in big trouble. Uh oh. So, John went in to give him a little bit of a hard time. You know what I mean. He was hanging out in New York. Yeah. Yeah, where was this? At the Hard Rock? Yeah, this is the Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe. Richie. Well, let's pull um, birthday celebration. All right. Hi, right, Richie. How are you? How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm John from Channel 9. It's up in New York. What's happening? Why are you mad at Howard Stern? I ain't mad at him. Why don't you come on the show, man?
He gets up too early, man. No, seriously. Uh, seriously. Seriously, man. He gets, way, he gets up too early. Last time I was on with him, he badgered me, so. And he gets up too early, so. Well, 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 do I need to get up that early to get badgered? No, well, that whole controversy with why he's on the radio station. Uh, I didn't, so it's not me. That's nothing to do with me. Well, why don't you guys come on? I mean, you know, is it, is it... Hey, I haven't got a call, man. I just got home from the door, so I haven't got a call, so. Because, like, word has is that you were a, a, a like, really nice guy to him at one point, and then now that you well, hit this nigger's yeah. thought of status that now, you know. See ya. <laughs> See ya. But, this, this is John again from, from, from Channel 9. <laughs> hey, um, He's um, talking. Are you a Jew, Richard? Excuse me? Are you a Jew? No, I'm not. Do you smoke pot? Sometimes, but not lately. Uh, were you surprised to learn that Johnny Carson beat his wife? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Did you ever get a nose job? Nope. Okay. I'm better than this, man. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Listen, man, you're killing me. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pretty close on him. Did you kiss him? No, but he's, he, you know, he's a good guy. Yeah, oh, he's a real oh, good he guy. Your hand. Yeah, he's really hey, wonderful. Hey, uh, how's it? Uh, said that I am too growing my nail for you. All right, Johnny, I'm um, growing his nail. For the fight against the... Uh... Let me get a close one on that. Put that down. Oh, he is you growing can clean his nails. them, John. Yeah, you can clean the them. idea is just to grow them. <laughs> Mine's fake, John. That's the real thing, dude. <laughs> I'm growing it too for you. For the uh, first time on television, the Cowsills reunion coming up next. All right? Stop biting your nails. <laughs> oh, man. What we have here, Robin, are the cow sills. What we have here is a reunion, yes. Now, of course, Mother Cow is not here. We should inform people that... Uh, she's on a date with Roy. She's, she's, in Roy she's, in she's here in spirit. She's, she's on a date with who? Roy Rogers? No, Roy Orbit. No, it's... Oh, Roy Orbit. Oh, Roy Rogers is Roy alive. Roy Rogers Trigger, then, go. Trigger. She's on a date with Trigger. <laughs> the happy woman. I'm worried about that because, as you know, Trigger is stuffed. We also stuffed Mom, and we carry her with us. <laughs> I've got to tell you something. Treat. About an hour ago, as early as an hour ago, I wanted to strangle each cow oh. Now, now I'm going to tell you what happened because I'm not one to lie. All right, let's lay out our dirty laundry. I yeah. felt that, look, let's be honest, the cow sills uh, haven't been heard from in, what, 20 years? I mean, am I insulting anyone by saying oh. the cow sills haven't been at the height of uh, the not recording? Not no, no, not Our reality is, is quite in right. place. On the radio, I thought a couple of years ago it would be funny if we got the cow sills back together, yeah. find out what happened to them. Expose them, to the, up to. expose them to the New York market again, see if we can't get something going, right? Yes. I thought that was nice of me. Now, it was. all I asked in return was when they appeared here, they've done hair. That was the big hit, hair, hair, hair. It's not like they wrote the song Hair, yeah, Robin. No, just, no. Excuse me, I'm talking! Oh, it's not like I, they wrote, I want to strangle one of you, just one yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. All right, all right, take it easy. Come on. Go ahead, Howard. Howard, still it. I'd love you to put your hands around my neck. Okay, all, all right, right. finish. I said to the council, instead of singing the song Hair, yeah. oh, here let's we go. sing a song parody about Iraq. But we wrote the song for them. We thought it was good. Then they called back and said, gee, we read it. It's, there's too much killing in it. It's about killing. I'm saying, listen, uh, you're actors now. You're, it's not saying that you are advocating killing. We wrote the lyrics. I'm willing to take credit for the lyrics. When, when Kathleen oh. Turner plays a movie role... Yes. If she plays a murderer, oh, you don't yeah. actually... Yeah, when you you're right. Listens, we're artists. Yeah, you're, you're not artists. Come on. We're okay, old hippies. We only believe... We believe in love and, and the celebration of life. <laughs> All right. I we tell you what. You do hair, <laughs> and then I'll let you do one of your boring new we're songs. We're going to do a boring new song, and then we'll do hair. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Every morning looking forward to the day that I could get on the hair.
That, Mom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, we've, been, we've been doing the ghostwriting stuff. It should Mom, have come through miss, me, miss you know. And I going. see another 20-year break coming. I'm sorry. I'm just, I can't stop thinking about Stay the song. Do right? me a favor. Take, take us out with some of that hair. Take like us out with some hair. Thing. Yeah. You are the guy who got us back yeah. together. Yeah, you, you are. Thank you. 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 Thank you.